Hello everybody and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. I removed the first minute or so of the audio because we were talking about something else that was kind of distracting and this is actually a pretty cool thing that's about to happen. So I'm just gonna read out loud, or not read, I guess sort of read out loud, um, the like text dialogue, that's what I normally do, but I didn't do that. So. This cache, this cache vine ascends high into the canopy above. There is no indication why its growth has stopped at this point. The ground beneath is stained by years of blood, suggesting that freshly killed animals have been suspended from the vine many times in the past, which is hilariously specific. I mean, maybe animals just died there at the spot instead of, you know, being, like, hung there? So, obviously, at the time, I was kind of distracted, and I was just kind of clicking buttons, but, like, <laughs> it's like, I have this corpse, and I'm going to hang it from this vine to activate this. It's for the ancient ritual. I don't know if you saw that at the beginning, which most of you probably played anyway, but we, we're activating some sort of ritual that we found in the forest, which is maybe not the best idea to just activate random ancient rituals that you find on the forest floor, but... You know, I'm an archaeologist and trained anthropologist in real life, and you darn well better bet that's what I'd be doing <laughs> if I found something. We're not the smartest, okay? We just, you see something and you want to touch it, and you want to have it work. So, <laughs> anyway, yep, we're about to get into it. So, the real me from the time of the recording will be here in a second. The creature is easily wrapped in the vine, which doesn't distort it all under the weight. The only movement is a rustling from far off in the distance. I don't actually know why we're doing this, to be honest. I just kind of went along with it, and then I, uh, yeah. I really shouldn't be doing it. But here we are. Yet again. Doing questionable things for questionable reasons. Oh, yeah. Also, throw lightsaber, drain life, force What else does he have? Like, where does his like nice powers come into play? Is it here? We don't need that. Force shield. What does Force Valor do again? Shoot. Yeah. Oh. I don't actually know where to look that up. I think we want that. You need to do that. And I only have those two abilities, really. Oh. You do your thing for a second. You got so excited wondering if you could. You never stop to wonder if you should. Yep. Uh. Yeah, always strike you off his own little road. Yeah, yeah. Some sort. Oh, is it the blade? Is it the one we need? 
skin has grown around it. While certainly painful, it appears the blade caused only surface damage to the creature who knows how long it lived with this injury. You remove the blade from the corpse. The only flaw appears to be a missing hilt. Obviously, the sword came apart when the blade lodged within the creature. Is it the sword of the thing? Is it the thing? Like, uh, the Chewbacca sword? Oh, boo. Fooey, where would it be? That I could see it. No hilt. Yes, it's Baka's sword blade. I knew it! Did I pass it? Did I pass it? Did I... There it is! Ha! Ha! Part of Baka's ceremonial blade. Damage to the arrogance of Chieftain Rothrar. Rothrar! He underestimated a creature of the Shadowlands, later dubbed the Great Beast, and lost the blade in lost the blade in its hide. The hilt remained in his court, passed to other chieftains. If both pieces could be found, the sword might be reassembled. So it's a good thing we just kinda did this without thinking about it, because we got part of the blade that we need to like convince all the Wookiees that they should not follow the slaver Wookiee, and they should, you know, think for themselves. Even though, you know, traditions and again, like right. It seems like the better option to follow this leader than to not, but... Gunhan's journal, circlet of Suresh. Where did these come from? Um... What? I can't... Can I read things? Like, read notepads? And I got somebody whose name started with a G. Uh, Guans. Oh no, I got the circlet of Suresh. The wealthy Suresh family of the Taurus were known for much of their arrogance and cruelty as for their vast riches and political power. But over, but over the last century, many of the family have shown the strong affinity to the Force and been taken in by the Jedi for training. Foremost among these was Gun Han Sarish, heir to the family fortune. To celebrate Gun Han's acceptance into the Order, his father commissioned a crafting of a powerful headband, the Circlet of Suresh. To prevent the spectacular gift from leading his son down the path of arrogance and pride, an all too real possibility given the Suresh family history, a circlet was fashioned so that only one who is a true servant of the light can use it. The circlet was in Gun Han's possession when he disappeared shortly after the time of the Great Hunt. And it gives me a plus five to wisdom. I don't really need that. Mm, interface visor gives me resistance to sonic. Motion detector. Awareness plus two demolition. Uh, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna use this thing. Motion detector goggles. Let's see how dumb those look. They look incredibly dumb! You're right, Rain. Uh, shoom. New sword piece. New one piece sword. Now I go to the right. I know, right? Rain will stay awake for Coder. I do, I do kind of feel bad. It's very late. I hope I can sell these bodies. That's my, uh, that's my hope. Um, is it, uh, go down here? Is it, it's just nothing? Oh ho. Oh ho. Are you, you're somebody different. Are you the one I've been looking for? I think you might be. Hello? More of you Zerka Korats. Is even the heart of Kashyyyk not free from your kind? He's almost feral after all this Yeah, yeah, time. yeah. Calm yourself, Freya. We are friends. Don't you remember me? Uh-oh. Well, this may prove to Hold on. I'm gonna reload that because Rain just said that I need to remove my weapons. 
which sounds like a very good way to say we come in peace. And that's kind of metagaming cheating, but I don't care because of anything in this game, I want the Wookiee stuff to work out very, very badly. Oh, we should heal too, shoot. What? Okay. Uh the the girls? What? The the ones who are like yelling about Sally? Oh, not for this? Dang it, come on. Oh. I'm gonna try anyway. Or maybe... I mean, I haven't gone... Far over there. Oh well, we'll get this done. Can I just, like, walk around you? It's cool, it's fine, man. We mean no harm. All right, let's just do it. <laughs> He's almost feral after all. Dang it. Okay. Oh, wait, okay. Now I have to re-equip. Okay. And you get this. And you get this. Dang it, I keep... Well, let's see. Maybe it'll just let us get him down to a certain point, you know? Maybe. Holy cow, that was fast. Sniper shotting him right in the face. What does this do? Okay, woo! Okay, woo! Uh, take my head, you won't get another chance. So swear sprayer of Kashyyyk. I'm not here to kill you, just listen. Words of an outsider are tainted with lies. You can't convince me otherwise. Do you know Zalbar and Chundar? Those are my sons. Why do you speak their names? Tell me. Uh, my name is Bryn Kar. I come to Kashyyyk with Zabar. I came to Kashyyyk with Zalbar. To my shame, Zalbar was exi exiled and enslaved. Do you dare claim to be my son's owner? What? He falls because of a life debt. Then he sees something of worth in you. I will listen cautiously. Gullibility has harmed me in the past. If I had seen the lies of Chindar, he would have been exposed as a slaver. Zalbar would not have been exiled. I did not believe Zalbar's claims. I believed the elder boy as tradition dictated. The shame of Zalbar's attack blinded me. Uh, I can keep- That's enough! Just die, old hairbag! I can keep saying that. Chindar- Shut up, let me see! It's probably like Chundar. <gasps> little baby pugs are so cute, and little tiny dogs are never afraid of big dogs. They always think they're bigger than they are. You can speak Wookie too, I know, right? <gasps> My little baby puppy is so cute. He's laying on a bed with his eyes closed. Who's a handsome puppy, huh? There's my boy. Go over exactly what happened with Zalbar. Zalbar saw it first. He learned Chundar was dealing with the Zerka and leading them to our hunting parties. Chundar would blame disappearances on the danger of the Shadowlands. Zalbar was crazed when he found out. He attacked Chundar with his claws. I thought he had gone mad. He shed his honor. I was bound by the old ways. 
Yeah, my little baby puppy. He's in, he's being very cute right now. I turned the cam on, but he uh, but that that messes up the game. It causes like it causes like a weird like delay on the audio. Um. So Zalbar was exiled. When did you learn the truth? A year later. By then, Chundar had spread lies of my own madness. I had no allies when I confronted him. He had he and his Zerka guards attacked me. I had to retreat to the deepest Shadowlands, but even there they followed. That's when I first saw him. He's like about to pass out. Lose it for a moment. Do you remember me now, Freya? Yes, I think I do. I'm sorry about attacking. It's been so long since I've offered my trust or accepted that of someone else. Uh, back to my other questions. I will answer and then ask something of you. Why would Chundar want you dead now? Well, if Zabar is back, perhaps Chundar is worried that people will realize things are not as they seem. Chundar has established himself as a leader that succeeded despite the tragedies that have plagued his family. If it was shown that he conspired with the slavers, his honor will be gone. I wonder. What happens now? That would depend on you, Brinkar. You will either kill me or decide that I may yet benefit my people. There is a way I might challenge Chundar, but it would take a lot to convince people they have been lied to. How? Everyone's on his side. He has a strong web of lies, but if I appeal to the traditions of my people, I might be able to gather support. There is a legend of a great warrior from the old times. Baka was his name. Baka was his name. And he is greatly revered. Baka found a crashed starship, our first hint of life elsewhere. He was a cautious old wook and feared the taint of invaders. He constructed a vibro blade from the wreckage. It has long symbolized our independence. Only destined leaders have held it. Uh, where might I find it? That is the problem. It was the symbol of our greatest chieftain, chieftains for centuries, but it was damaged a generation ago in a ritual battle. Hey, I have that! <laughs> Here in the Shadowlands, Rathrar fought the great beast. He sought a challenge, but this arrogance got him more than he can handle. He survived, but the blade of the sword stayed in the creature's hide. Our tale today was taken because we had become undeserving. The hilt is still in the court of our chieftain with Chundar. Oh my gosh, I can do it! If the blade could be found, Brinkar, tradition could cast doubt on his rule. I already did it! Actually, I've already found it. I wasn't sure what it was. You have, please let me see it. I must be sure. Uh, here, take it. He's like gesturing with his sword in my body. He's, he's cutting me in half. Here, take it. It is! It may not look like much, but it's a very important relic of my people. Tradition dictates that it may be respected. I didn't think I was worthy to search for it, but I realized that that was selfish despair. I should have challenged Chundar long ago. Actually, we should have Zalbar challenge, to be honest. I will make amends now. I have new hope. You have led me to this. Perhaps that is what the Great Beast wanted. We should proceed carefully. Well, climb to the surface as quickly as possible and try to gather support. You'll have to follow on the paths as soon as you can, bring Karn. When you arrive, we will confront Chundar in the throne room. My people will no longer be slaves. Okie dokie. I feel like I may have started something that I maybe, uh, maybe is going to get us into trouble. But hey, what's a little Star Wars without some trouble, you know? I think Rain actually fell asleep. Let's be honest here. Let's be real. Unless they poop everywhere like coyotes. Yeah, pets are great. My little puppy. His little his little face is squished on one side because of the blanket. And he looks very cute. <gasps> Rain is still awake. Oh, my. I do want to go check out that last corner that I haven't looked at. I think I turn, yeah. And find that last little... I'm awake too, if anybody cares! <laughs> Subby! Subby, I care about you so much! Subby, I care about you so much that I have your birthday in my phone. It is... It is... It is... It is... Hold on, hold on, hold on. The 28th! Did I go the wrong way? No, I did. Is this what? Can I... Oh! Oh! These are the Mandalorian swoops! That they were 
supposed to have, um, Sneakified. The swoop bike is still warm to the touch. There's a system device on it, however, that contains no field data to transmit. Oh, ho, ho. <gasps> you have my birthday memorized by heart? Now I feel bad, because I have yours memorized only on my phone. Subby, I'll be better, I promise. I'll be worthy of your love someday. It seems you are the winner. I am the winner. Okay, now I think, now we have to, uh, revolution. Revolution. I love being able to name my own save files. Um. No. La 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 A winner is you! <gasps> oh my gosh, it's it's Ida! Ida's the winner! Oh, this one! This is the one we had to poke. The swoop bike shows signs of recent use as it is missing its signal device. One of the Mandalorians must have taken it to collect data. You've always had a head for memorizing dates and facts. You can start your old friend's birthday. What? That's amazing! Do nothing. Okay, now what? Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. I'm just trying to run around weaponless until I find the Mandalorians that I'm looking for. Hey, hey, there's a spot over here. Here they are. Here they are. I found them. I look like a super villain. We all look like super villains with our eyewear. We have super villain eyewear. You're pretty sure that I'm the, I'm the oldest friend you have? Yep, I am definitely the oldest. You're dyslexic, so you rubber should dyslex I love how I love how you spell dyslexic because nobody who has dyslexia can spell dyslexia. So that's a really beautiful way to spell it. You're really bad with no or yeah. <laughs> dyslexic! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna light this guy on fire. Actually, no 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 no. First I have to give my give us our weapons back. Do -de -do -de -do. Green lightsaber. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Green lightsaber and big old blaster. And equip your shields. I'm here. Oh my gosh, our dude just died back there. Holy cow. Do I have any? I don't have any bombs. That helped us last time. Quick hitting wall. Oh, god. This is not gonna end well. I'll just do what I can. They're hitting me from behind, so I'm taking extra damage. Yeah. not gonna end well. Show you. I don't have any. Oh wait, uh, no. Actually, this one. <laughs> heal! We have to run and heal! Run and heal, run and heal, run and heal, run and heal, because we're the Mandalorian and we can do that. And this guy doesn't have a long range weapon. He only has a melee weapon. La 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 Player moving, canceling combat. Ooh, nice, removing ourselves from combat. Woke up my friends. Oh no, it didn't. Oh well. Okay, it's fine. Cool. Oh, you have a blaster too? Unfair. 
It's okay, if we stay at this range and you can only hit me like that, we'll be fine. Your, your blaster is puny. Oh my gosh, why can I not hit you? We even regen in the middle of a fight. This is amazing. Nice. All right, we're gonna we're, do, we're doing great. We're winning the sniper war. We're the best. We're the best at this game. And with that irrefutable fact, I'm gonna leave off the episode here. So thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it, and I hope to see you in the next one.